Hey, what's going on, everybody? Look at the nice glow of those tubes. This is the Dilve Poetry, if I'm saying that correctly. This one is their newest, the Tube T7. Uh, it doesn't necessarily replace the Tube T6 because I believe that was... That actually had two extra knobs and that had um, Bluetooth. Uh, this one is a uh, hybrid tube amplifier. And we'll get into the specs in just a minute on it. Okay, I got it disconnected so we can get a look here at the device. Um, very easy to turn on. It's just the simple press of the button. Obviously, it's uh, it's not plugged in. You have, uh, let me get that out of the way. You have both your standard jack and you have the XLR jack. As you can see, there's the tubes that it comes with. Uh, here is the back of the device. You have your XLRs with the lock, which is nice. You have your DC 12 volt in. Left and right indicators, plus you have RCAs. Uh, very nice metal. Got the little rubber feet right here. Uh, feels nice. It's very solidly built. And you got your nice tubes that it comes with. Um, trying to see. Uh, they are uh, six and three. Get two of those. Obviously, you can change them out for, you know, slight. I mean, this being a hybrid, they affect the sound, but not. You know as much as say uh, a regular tube amp but being a hybrid you kind of get the best of both worlds because uh you know you get in general you get the uh the tube kind of a tube influence but you have the solid state circuitry ha handling uh handling handling all the uh amp parts and the preamp part is handled handled by the tubes um so in general, build quality is very good. There's a, uh, it's kind of a stepped, it's very smooth. Let's see if I can bring this over to the mic so you can hear it. It's, uh, it's got a, a step, so you feel each step of the volume going up. It's a nice smooth, it's a decent knob. Um, the attenuation on it is very good. Get your XLR right there. Your regular jack, you get your screen, which we showed in the beginning, which shows the volume and the input. And you get your input outputs on the back, both balanced and not. Uh, whether it's fully balanced, I am not 100% sure. I don't have any information on that. Uh, there was some talk about the lock sheet. Uh, I think that maybe this is very similar uh, in design to that. Um, even the body. This is reversed, obviously, on the lock sheet. This was over here, and this was over there. And the shape, actually, of the lock sheet was like this. So, I mean, it's a different design in general. Um, I'm not sure who owns... I think Topping owns this company, or FX Audio, whereas uh, lock sheet was SMSL. Uh, whether they own it too, I don't know. But... Uh, let's get into the review on this. Uh, it's very simple to use. It works very good. Um, I, I like it in general. I mean, I really do. I like the build quality. It seems very solid for the price. Uh, it's actually I'm trying to see how much is it if the price is somewhere on here. Uh, it's about uh, $143.99 right now. Not bad for this uh, this hybrid amp. It's a decent size. It definitely um, has some decent specs. Let's see, maximum power output is uh, 1500 milliwatts at 32 ohms. You have your 12 volt DC uh, supply. Uh, frequency response 20 to 20 kilohertz. Uh, SN ratio is... Uh, Set of 5, 0 0.5 decibels, THD 0.05%. You, you have audio out inputs and outputs are both, uh, you have your XLR and your RCA in the back. 
and in the front you have your XLR and your 6.35 millimeter. Uh, the product uh, is 1.2 grams in general. I'm trying to see if there's any more information on this product besides the tubes, which you know you can swap out. Um, and then there's not much else on the, uh, the product. The tubes again are the uh, 6N3. And of course, anything that's equivalent, you can swap it out and change the sound. But don't expect like a major giant change with the sound on this um, because it is a hybrid. And like I said, the preamp is handled by the tubes, whereas all the amplification otherwise is handled by the solid state giving you technically the best of both worlds. Now, if you're new to tubes and you want to hear that tube sound, uh, but you don't want to spend all the money on a, on a pure tube amplifier, then this is a good, good uh, starting point. Um, now, you get two tubes with this. Obviously, there's amplifiers with one tube. I've had those before. I didn't really like those, and I don't have them right now. It's nice to have two on a hybrid. Um, even though on a hybrid, technically, you can get away with one just fine. Uh, I even had a hybrid with one big tube in the middle, which wasn't too bad. Uh, that was the Ocean. Oh, Bravo. Something Ocean. Um, that was a long time ago. I haven't had that in quite some time. Um, what do I think in general? Uh, I like the sound of this. Uh, these tubes do give it a hint of warmth. Uh, overall, in general, I think the sound of this is pretty neutral, balanced kind of sounding, somewhere in between there. Uh, yes, you do get a lift in the bass. Uh, not, you know, a major lift, but I notice that the bass is deeper, it's richer, uh, it's more fuller. As a matter of fact, I'd like to actually go to my notes since there's no important information here on this other than what I've stated. Uh, let's get into the sound. Okay, so yeah, the bass response was larger, it was more open, uh, not by like an incredible margin, like like hitting the bass boost on something, but it was noticeable, it was richer. Um, the mids, uh, they remained neutral, but there was a warmth there uh, at the lower mids. Uh, but for the most part, they were neutral. They they, they were clear. Um, treble, I noticed, was more relaxed on this, uh, using different devices uh, overall. And in general, it was just fairly neutral sounding with a slight warmth from the tubes. Uh, I did not roll the tubes. I didn't switch them. I mean, it being a hybrid, it will make a slight difference, but it won't make a major difference like on a pure tube amp. Um, but you can do it and you, you, maybe you'll notice the difference right off the bat. It's going to depend on your chain. It's going to depend on your headphones. Um, I don't usually do a lot of tube things. Um, I was planning on getting the, the dark voice, uh, but for some reason that didn't work out. Uh, the, I sent for one and then I got refunded the money. I don't know why. Um, but in general, this is nice because it's a hybrid and we're getting some of the options that you get with a tube amp but you're also getting that you know that good performance and easier to use performance of the of the solid state uh, so you kind of get a best of both worlds with this although some people really like the tube but this would be great for an introduction into it your first tube amplifier or something like that definitely nice um it's well made um, I also noticed that switching to the balanced uh, outputs, uh, it definitely, everything became a lot clearer, richer, fuller sounding with those. There was a noticeable volume difference, a noticeable, uh, a little bit more of the bass emphasis with more clarity and detail. Um, soundstage on this is, is decent. It's above average. Uh, and uh, we tested it with the iFi IDSD signature. I'm trying to think what else we used here. The Diablo, the uh, SMSLM 100, 
which I basically used most of the testing for, because I just like the way it looks. It looks over there. It sits on top of the um, the SP200, and then the M200 is there too, feeding both of them. And we also use the Un X1S, which isn't on my desk anymore. It's actually in another room, but I had it out here for a while. And the Sound Davo, which is actually around the corner from my uh, monitoring TV over there. And so we used it with a variety of different devices. Um, the Sound Davo is warm to begin with, so I noticed a little bit more warmth. Uh, the SMSL and the, the Un is actually very bright. Um, so there's kind of a, kind of like a cancellation there because it was very bright and then this, and it just kind of brought it down to that neutral sounding. And then the, uh, SP200, uh, not the SP200, the, um, M100, uh, DAC is very detailed, very neutral. So you could hear like the differences with the tube and everything. I went back and forth between the SP200 and this to see if I noticed a noticeable difference. There is definitely an audible difference between that. Um, so in general, it's good. It would be very good for a beginner. Um, I wouldn't recommend sensitive IAMs. Now, I did use a lot of single dynamic driver IAMs with this. They worked out quite fine. But if you get into starting to get into hybrids and balanced armatures that are low impedance uh, and some very low impedance headphones, um, I would say anything anything under 32, maybe 40, you will get a noticeable, when there's a pause in the sound, a noticeable hiss uh, because of the power. But other than that, there is very low ground noise with this on uh, higher ohm stuff. Um, it's, it's inaudible. So it definitely does a good job with that, but I definitely would not recommend uh, sensitive IMs with this in general. I, it's a tube amp. You're not going to take a pair of KZs and pop them on a tube amp and, you know, expect there not to be some kind of noise there because it's, they're just very low ohm. Uh, and most of them are hybrids. Uh, in general though, it did very good job with, um, single dynamic driver IAMs. Uh, the DD Hi-Fi sounded good on it. Uh, the NMs from NF Audio sounded good on it. What else did I try on it? Uh, single dynamic driver ones. Uh, the Hannah's. Hannah's sounded actually really good. The, the little warmth to the Hannah actually was very good on it. Um, in general, I mean, people aren't going to really get a big tube amplifier or a larger tube amplifier and put their IAMs on it, but uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, even when you have that ground noise, it's just the pause in between the silence there. You don't really notice any... Uh, distinguishable uh, noise or anything. And of course, uh, you know, being the tube, uh, it gives you different harmonics there. There's distortion, but in a good way, that's what a tube does. And this does it ever so slightly, um, still more toward the neutral side than anything, which is actually surprisingly refreshing. Um, I was expecting it to just really overly warm Maybe even modify some of the like heavier bass ones like the uh, Fidelio uh, X2Rs or something. And it didn't do that. It just surprisingly made the bass just a little bit more larger sounding. Um, and I like that. And I'm trying not to say um, but I keep saying it. Uh, let's see. Uh, looking at my notes. That's basically in a nutshell. My conclusion was this is a well-made hybrid tube amp. It would be nice for a beginner. It plays well with uh, single dynamic driver IAMs, uh, headphones, and would avoid low impedance and multiple BA or hybrid uh, IAMs with this, obviously lower ohm stuff. You want to get into more of a portable player or something like that. Uh, maybe a dongle, you know, just uh, with IAMs dongle, or like I said, uh, Oh, the iFi with the IE match or the Q3 or something like that, that's good for IAMs, especially all IAMs, low, high, whatever you got, those are good for IAMs. Uh, when you get into like full size headphones and a little bit more harder, like the, uh, the P1, the P2, uh, the Believe, the, um, 
What's another one? Maybe the Tri I3, something like that. And it sounds decent on this. Uh, something that just needs a little bit more power because this does put out good power. I personally would recommend uh, headphones on this 40 ohms and up, uh, to be honest, just to be on the safe side. That's a really good job. Uh, it's a decent, decent device. Uh, looks great. By the way, it looks really good on the desk. I like the shape of it and everything too. And it's just very easy to use. You just plug it in, get it all set, power it up, and you just you're really good to go. You just hold this button in for a couple seconds. It turns on. Obviously, it's not plugged in right now, so I can't do that. But we showed it in the beginning. And uh, basically, in the box, you get the device. You get your two tubes, and you get the power pack. Uh, it's a simple box, just a plain cardboard box. I have it actually in the closet. I'm not going to get it out for the view. just wanted to mainly show the device for you. And um, I, was, I was pleasantly surprised with this device. It actually really is a nice looking device. Um, looks much better than those tiny little uh, you know, single tube hybrid amps uh, that you can get for almost the same price as this. I think that you're getting a, a good price for this, for, for the money. Um, it does a lot of different things, and I do like it. Surprise. I mean, I like it. Uh, I definitely, I actually took, as you saw in the beginning, I took like a lot of the amps that were piled up, and I put them in different places because I thought it, this looked nice. Just this, the M100, and the uh, SP200, together looks really nice and clean it matches the smsl as well with the color and everything and the knob style so i thought it looked really nice um some noted features is that wherever you set the volume the next time you turn it on the volume will be there so uh, kind of keep it down because if you're listening to like uh, say some uh you know 600 ohm headphones and then you have the volume up and then you put in some earphones you, you know you might blow them out if you have it up all the way i don't know um i have seen sometimes people do put too much power into an iam and start smoking uh, just for safety things too for your ears make sure that you keep the volume down because the next time you put it on it's going to be at whatever volume you had it set on uh in general so I find it's nice. Uh, it plays well with most headphones, except for low low ohm stuff, and uh, you know multiple balanced armatures and hybrids. It uh, it's built well. Uh, it's simple to use, and it's not that expensive. So it'd be nice. It'd be nice to start your journey, or just to have a tube amp around for when you want when you feel like you want to have that little bit of that tube sound. You're gonna get that from this. And that's nice. It's really nice. And plus, it's got the balanced. So I, I definitely think that a lot of people would like this who are just starting with the tubes. Obviously, you know, higher up people that have been doing the tubes for a while and tube roll and all that. Maybe this isn't for you. But if you're just beginning or you're on a budget, totally recommend this. I like it personally. It's going to stay up there right on top there. And it looks good. So, all right, uh, this one has been the, and I hope I'm not butchering the name, but the Delve Poetry uh, Tube T7. And remember, this is not a replacement for the T6. The T6 is completely different. Uh, uh, it has three knobs. It has the, uh, I, I don't know if it has the bass and treble or something like that, uh, what the other two knobs are. But it also has Bluetooth, uh, and it has a DAC built into it, too. This is just uh, just a regular hybrid tube amp. Uh, I hope this was informative, and I hope that, um, just making sure I went over all the specs, I hope that you are uh, safe out there, and thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much.